up? Alright, so let me get this straight. Wrangler owners are now suing Fiat Chrysler for death wobble. <laughs> I can't I can't wrap my head around that. This is not a new problem, people. People have been dealing with death wobble for decades. Ever since the invention of straight axle front. Oh my gosh, I, I can't I can't wrap my head around this guys. Listen. Death wobble is not a new problem. I mean guys with K5 Blazers, Ford Broncos, solid axle front pickup trucks have been dealing with death wobble for a long time. You know what causes it, or at least someone does. So, <laughs> research how to fix it and freaking fix it. But no, new Wrangler owners feel like they're special. So they're gonna go and sue Fiat Chrysler over the fact that their Wranglers are getting death wobble. Oh no, oh no, my my Jeep has death wobble. I'm gonna wreck. Yeah, well, okay, learn how to drive, learn not to freak out when something happens. <laughs> and then freaking figure out how to fix it. I had a Jeep Cherokee. I lifted the thing and put 33s on it, and it wound up with death wobble. Actually, it wound up with death wobble after I lifted it and put 31s on it. But I fixed it. I figured out what the problem was, and I fixed it. <laughs> this is what I'm talking to you guys about. People act like they're so helpless. And then when something happens, they feel like they got to hold somebody responsible so that they can get whatever's going on in their life fixed. How about taking some responsibility for yourself, for your own stuff? Yeah, sure, maybe there's a flaw in the design of that kind of front suspension and front steering system. We all know that. But we figured out how to improve it and we fixed it. I put longer, lower control arms on my Cherokee and I never got death level again. It's all about improving the geometry of the steering and front suspension. It's not, suing Chrysler isn't gonna do anything for you. Oh, you know what it will do? They're going to say, okay, well, we've known for years that there's a flaw in the design of that front suspension. But everybody's just kind of, you know, shrugged it off and dealt with it because they want a hardcore off-road wheeler. Well guess what? Since people are going to complain about it and sue us, we're just going to make Jeep's independent front suspension. So congratulations. Congratulations. You have now neutered the Jeep Wrangler. All of you people that have decided that you want to sue Chrysler over getting death wobble, congratulations. Your next generation of JKs, or well, I guess they won't be JKs, your next generation of Wranglers are going to be independent front suspension if they don't just go ahead and decide to kill the Wrangler line altogether. This is what you get, people. This is what happens when you start suing. You just start going lawsuit crazy. This is what happens. You wind up completely watering down an entire brand or watering down an entire vehicle line. To a lot of people, it's bad enough that Wrangler went to Ford or to begin with. To a lot of people, including myself, it's bad enough that Wrangler got rid of the inline six and went to a V6. But now, watch guys, it's coming. I'm telling you, they're gonna wind up going independent front suspension just so they don't have to do with lawsuits from, you know, all these ridiculous people that wanna go sue happy over the fact that their Jeep got death wobble. 
Talk to any Ford Heavy or Ford Super Duty owner. I guarantee you they've had death bobble at some point. Talk to any any Ram HD owner. I bet you they've had death bobble at some point. Chevy guys probably haven't because they haven't been straight axle since like, you know, the late 80s or early 90s. But Christ almighty, people. You know, <laughs> it's it's just death wobble. It, it, it's fixable. It's not it's not something you need to go suing Chrysler over. God almighty. It's like sunroofs for years. For years. Sunroofs have been known to leak. No matter what vehicle you have, you have a sunroof, everybody's like, oh, well, that used vehicle, it's got a sunroof, well, it's going to leak. You either buy the car, knowing that it's going to leak eventually, or you don't. You don't go suing the manufacturer because suddenly the sunroof started leaking. They've made improvements to those sunroofs that now, thankfully, they don't really leak. Well, they still kind of leak, but they leak into the track and then it gets drained out through drain tubes that go down your eight pillars and out the floor. That's how they solve that problem. For those of you that don't know that, yes, your sunroof still leaks. It's just they figure out a way to make it drain somewhere else besides inside the cab of your vehicle. So, just, you know, quit, quit freaking out over something that happens to your vehicle that's not really that big of a deal. Learn how to drive, learn how to react in emergency situations. You're not gonna wreck. My wife, the Jeep got death level on my wife. My wife laughed it off and then said, well, okay, I guess this is just something I'm gonna have to deal with until my husband can find time to fix it. And she did. She, she figured out how to react to it. She knew when it was going to happen. She could, I mean, there was like an aura. Okay, she knew what was about to happen. She knew how to react to it. And she dealt with it until I finally was able to get a day off from work that I could actually fix what was going on with it. And it was fine. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go forward with this lawsuit with Chrysler, I can guarantee you the next generation of Jeep Wranglers will not be the same. It will not be a Jeep Wrangler. It will be an IFS piece of crap that's not going to flex, not going to articulate, not going to perform the way Jeep Wranglers are supposed to. So you do what you want with that. You said my piece.